A Libre design is more than just a modeling package here. Each one of these parts we're designing, we can actually assign physical and visual properties. We can assign material and we can assign colors and things like that. Right. So once you've assigned a material to a part, you can then weigh that part and you can actually get an actual value of a realistic weight of a part, for instance. So to do that, we have a couple different ways we can apply materials. Now, the probably the easiest is if you look over here on the Design Explorer, the first item you're going to get to is material. If you click on that or right click on it, you can select from material library. OK, now we've got a basic Libre library here that's already been defined. There's a whole bunch of materials that we can select here. And that information for the type of material is automatically going to be propagated over here to these properties. So if you come over here, let's say we're going to make it bronze, uh, phosphor bronze, notice the values, the density, the hardness, and stuff like that. And some of these values aren't filled out, but here's the units. Uh, depending on the material you choose, you might have some filled out or some not. And if you need to go back and create your own custom materials, you can do that as well. Once you've applied that material, now that material shows up over here. And if you're to go to something like weigh the part, you're going to get an accurate value of how much it's going to weigh. Okay. Now, top of the screen, if you come up here under part color, check that out. Click on that. And we're going to define a color, right? So I can choose a color right here. I can say, hey, how about like this nice blue right here? I like, yeah, maybe I can do that. You can click around in here until you find a color that you like. Uh, or you can choose it from the, from the color picker over here, right? So. I'm going to choose that color right there. Click OK. And I can choose the opacity. You know, I can say, hey, do, do you want this to be somewhat see-through? I can click on and change the reflectivity, right? And then I can go ahead and choose OK. And notice my block now changes or inherits that color, that the part color. And so now you can see you can see through it a little bit. You know, you've got your speed and change. And then if you don't like that, of course, go back up here and say, hey, well, and it's not as great as I wanted it to be. I can go over here and change it, click OK, and then notice it changes again. All right, so that's, we're affecting the entire part at one time. Now, we also have the ability to come down here and go to face color, right? I could say, hey, this face over here, I can select it. And I say, I want that one to be red, OK? Same thing over here. I can change some things like the opacity, click OK. And now I've got a red face on top of a blue face, and I can look inside my block here. So a lot of different cool things you can do as far as doing this, you know, if you want to like see inside your model and see something that's going on here, uh, by changing just an individual face, it allows us to do that. And if, of course, at some point in time later on that you don't want that to happen, of course, you can delete it or change it back to something else. So that's basically how you would attach a material as well as some different colors to individual bodies or individual faces.